Okay, fire away. Tell us what you've got here. It is an Android application that controls this robot. Okay. Yes. Uh, and you, this robot you made yourself, or is it? I mean, it's, give... it's already uh, already made, but uh, different components. I had to buy the, these components separately oh, and then mount it, mount these. So is it Bluetooth or what? Yes. It's, so you made an app to control it. Just over here. Okay. The app sends the movement and camera commands. Yeah. Let's activate the camera, and then this, the robot will send uh, the captured image to the uh, to the Android application to display it. Okay, so let's see it working then. Yeah. Run it, and then run the, the app. It's already paired, so it will not take yeah. longer to connect. Now it's connected. Let's first. Uh, um, Get some images <laughs> okay. before we start. Oh, I see. It's sending pictures back, is it? Yeah. Now it's taking this pictures. But it's not I see. Yeah. What sort of resolution is that? Six forty by four eighty. No, something? less less than that. Less than that. Less yeah. Than that. It's a lower resolution. Okay. So that can take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll and just can you, have and to you can drive move, it. And you can move it. Yeah. Uh, by default, when you start the application, it will run. Use the joystick, oh, the virtual okay. joystick first. Oh, that's close. Yeah. Huh. I've practiced. I see. Before it wasn't use this motion. It used only like forward or stop and turn 90 degrees and go. So let's see if I want it to go over where that uh, solar cell, solar panel is. You can steer it over there, let's see. Oh yeah, very good. I need to practice. Yeah, practice yeah, it. that's good. This is the speed, you can choose which speed. So that'll work at the range of the Bluetooth, whatever that is, I don't know. 15 meters or something, whatever. Yes, 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 of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can improve it by having larger, yeah. larger range. Yeah. Uh, now we're creating the accelerometer, like controlling the device by. So what's the accelerometer for? Oh, oh, so you. Oh, I see. You can steer with. That's, a, that's good. <laughs> so how are you using the accelerometer to get position on the phone? Let me turn off of it. Uh, yes. Now it's the X and Y, all of the, uh, yes. the X, Y and components are it's, it's, uh, displayed yes. here. Normally, though, if you're going from acceleration to position, how are you actually getting that? If you like the command from acceleration, are you integrating in some way or something? Low pass yeah. filtering the. Oh, it's here. Yeah. So I get these readings and then calculate these readings to the. Uh, uh, I see. Using this formula. Ah, yes, you're using the. Uh, that's a standard uh, yes. thing from Acceleron. That's the yes, angle. Yes, everything happens yes. in the Android application. Yes. And then uh, those commands are sent to, yeah. to here using the yeah. the libraries that already made for the robot to control the left and right motors. Okay, thank you very much indeed.